And there's another twist to this power puzzle. It's the rush to harness green energy, solar power, wind power, and the like. Coming up on Sunday, Demetrius has part two of his special report, where he shows us why the rush to green energy is playing a major role in rising prices and whether or not we'll have enough energy to power us through the months ahead. And speaking of green energy, we're following a continuing debate between local farmers and wind energy companies. It is now day two of a public hearing held at the Tazewell Justice Center in Pekin. One local group, United Citizens of Tazewell County, is hoping to amend the current ordinance concerning building wind turbines in our area. Now, the group is also proposing a six month moratorium on building any further turbines in the area. Our Nina McFarland has been at that meeting, it, uh, Nina, for quite some time now. What has been happening? Shelby, well, the meeting just finished and it began with cross examination with the group looking to make that change, as well as a company called EDP, which is a wind energy company. Now, EDP currently has one wind farm south of Hopedale called Rail Splitter One which has more than 50 turbines and it's represented by those green dots that you see there. It's located near I-55 and Highway 136. Now, the public finally had the chance to speak tonight and one concerned citizen is stressing the importance of distance between the turbines and the home. The data from older models suggest that no one should be within 3,000 feet of a wind turbine during an electrical storm. The current Tazewell County ordinance has a setback of 750 feet from a property line of a dwelling. Interesting that the wind companies do not want their employees to be within 3,000 feet, but think that it's okay for the property owner to be within 750 feet. Now, 36 people signed up to speak tonight, but they only got to half, so the other half will be on June 15th, again at 5.30 here. Reporting live in Pekin, Nina McFarland, WMBD News.